tasting like a boss. Lots of firsts going on today. It's October 1st, and I love October. If you ever saw my videos in the past, I've talked about October. I love October. Halloween's my favorite holiday, probably because I didn't get to really celebrate that much when I was a kid because I was sick all the time. The weather gets a little bit cooler. It's also a first because of the type of review we're doing today. Hey, this is Kylo. Kylo is here for it today, as long as he wants to be at least. Today is, oh, we usually do three-way reviews. Today is going to be a six-way review. That's right, guys. I've been excited about this. Back somebody on one of the Bones uh, 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 fan sites asked a question about which one's better, Jack O' Lantern or the Pumpkin King? Jack O' Lantern or the Pumpkin King? And that's right, guys. We got a three-way review of Jack O' Lantern and oh, the Pumpkin King. And yes, that's right. I've got two cold brewers now. Uh, the uh, my my wife or the boss of boss uh, said, "Hey, get another one." And I thought, "Oh my gosh, I can have a second one, and I can take up more space in the fridge." And she's okay with it. Score, score. My wife is awesome. So, for those who do not know, Jack O' Lantern uh, is a Bones. These are both flavors by the Bones Coffee Company. Again, right from the beginning, do not work for Bones. I do not get a kickback from Bones. I just happen to like their coffee. I know I review a lot of theirs. But that's because they have so many different flavors, it makes them more fun. I don't only do Bones, but from time to time it seems that way. So I apologize for those people who are not Bones Coffee fans exclusively. But Jack O' Lantern has been for a while my favorite pumpkin uh, coffee to have. Uh, as you guys probably know, I prefer my coffees in cold brew. Uh, so I always cold brew my coffees. But these three-way reviews, we will have it cold brew, drip, and espresso. So we've always had Jack O' Lantern there. Well, this year, Bones, uh, with a, uh, I guess, a, a crossover promotion or some sort of relationship with Disney, did the Nightmare Before Christmas uh, flavors. And they had the Pumpkin King. It's the one that has Jack Skellington on it, done up in his typical, not his Santa, his typical stuff. And it is a pumpkin, pecan, praline flavor. So one is a jacked up, spiced pumpkin, Jack O' Lantern. And the other one is a pumpkin pecan praline flavor and as i i've reviewed both flavors i like them both so this isn't going to be a situation where i'm telling you uh don't buy one i, I would suggest you buy them both but this is going to be uh, a detailed analysis of how the flavors come through for those who are trying to decide and also just to decide for myself which one does taste better i don't know because i like them both so uh again if you want to see the review of either one of those you can go back to my other reviews and look at them but let's just get started uh let's start with a scent first i put them in ziploc bags because i ground them up and everything i like to keep them fresh you don't have to do this but that's the way i choose to the bones bags do seal but i prefer this method more and i like to keep the bag inside so i know what i have so here is the uh jack o lantern and the image is great. It's a headless horseman. I was going to wear that shirt today for today's review, but then I thought that just shows I like one more than the other right from the get. So instead, I wore this shirt, and my youngest daughter actually drew this a couple years ago. It's a pumpkin running for a pumpkin run holding the Haitian flag because it was to benefit the people of Haiti. Kind of neat. i uh, throw that out there. So jacked on anything and smell. Let's get to it. Okay. It smells spicy, cinnamon. And I will tell you, when I brewed both of these, this one had a more powerful scent when being brewed. It really did, it kind of filled the house up. Let's move over to the uh, uh, Pumpkin King. Now, this one here, you'll say, oh, it's the wrong bag. Well, I used the old bag because it used to be the mystery flavor. This is actually from the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas bag, so it's a newer, fresher bag but I am using that for something else. So I have I wanted to identify with this. So that's, this is the old one, but this is the uh, uh, the Pumpkin King. And here's, here's the thing. Sweeter smell, caramel notes, pumpkin notes. Um, this, in the bag, this one wins for smell. Brewing wise though, uh, Jack and Lemon. So let's get down to the tasting. All right, we have Cold brew, uh, the Jack O' Lantern. Tastes like a boss. It 
it's good. I mean, every time I drink Jack and Lantern, I've had other pumpkin coffees and none of them come close. And you'll notice I, I do all these black. None of these are sweetened or modified in any way because I want to taste the coffee flavor. If you want to add stuff, you can. But this is just my personal preference and allows me to taste the coffee. And what I'm tasting here is pumpkin and a lot of spice. It is truly a jacked up pumpkin flavor. I like it a lot. Uh, it is not sour, it is not earthy, it is just, it just knocks the doors off. So, thumbs up there. But, let's compare. Mm, try to cleanse that palate a little bit. Okay. Now we have the Pumpkin King. It's totally different. Okay. It's gonna be hard because they're so different than one another. They are not, they are, I used to think maybe they were similar. They're not. Here are my thoughts on the cold brew, on Jack and Lantern. It's heavy on the spice, more biting, fierce flavor. Uh, it's not one note, but it's like two notes. It's got the pumpkin and the spicy flavor. And it's, it's, it's there, it's, it's edgy. This is a much more nuanced flavor. It is, I don't taste the pumpkin as much in here, but that's because obviously you have the pecan, the caramel, the pumpkin. It's like a making a pumpkin praline pie with a lot of bones flavors, you'll notice that when they are one type of flavor, there's more of an edge to it. They don't taste as creamy like this. This doesn't taste as creamy. Here, it's almost like you can you can taste the other notes. It's very odd, It's uh, unless you really experience it side by side. This one here, it's gonna have that flavor. It's gonna feel like there's two notes, like a sharp razor's edge of flavor, but in a good way. Hits you. This is so fleshed out. Not overly earthy at all. Not sour, not bland. Damn. Okay. I guess it depends on the type of mood I'm in. Flavor-wise, I have to hand it to the Pumpkin King. The Pumpkin King is more fleshed out. It's a very dynamic flavor. Really fills a whole mouth with flavor. Very, very good. But at the same time, I have some allegiance to this bad boy here because it's just got that edge. It's spice, man. That spice in that really is a really kicks in in a way that this doesn't. So if you're wanting something spicier, bam. If you're wanting something the warmer, more soothing, Pumpkin King. So I guess I'll give the edge to the Pumpkin King because it's a more nuanced flavor, but I still love you, girl. I still love you. So let's move these away. So the cold brew, let's move past cold brew and move to drip. Uh, this one here, I, I did put this in the Bones cup and this is in a, a Cheers mug. Here I decided to go total bones on it. I have, neither, neither one, I don't have a Jack o' Lantern cup. So I've got s'morey time. Again, Bones, could you please make this shirt again? Please, just even if it's single pressing, extra large, that'd be nice. I really would like to get this shirt. Anyway, Jack o' Lantern drip. Here we go. Well, actually, give it a smell. Still smells great. Here we go. good i mean i still like cold brew more than drip but it tastes like a pumpkin coffee um it's not and spice pumpkin spice it's good almost went down the wrong pipe okay good so so far good 
drip on the uh, the pumpkin king. Okay. Mm. More pumpkin in this one. Edgier. This one again, more nuanced. My wife was right. Oh, by the way, this is a just a typical bone smile. My wife was right about this one. The the pecan flavor. And I think the caramel too rounds it out. This is good. I can see why my wife likes this more, but I do find that it has more of a sour edge than this. So if I'm going just for drip, drinking it black, I think I'm gonna go with this if I'm really looking for pumpkin flavor. If instead I'm wanting something that's, again, more nuanced and I don't mind so much a little bit of the sour notes at the end, which I think are probably caused by the nut of the, of the pecan, I'd go for this, but still both good, but still drastically different from one another. I really thought when I tasted the Pumpkin King, I thought it was just going to be a redo of the other, but it's really not. They're very different. All right. This is always weird. Here's the espresso. I believe that for both of these flavors, I've already given the opinion that I would not waste my time making an espresso out of either one of these flavors, but Gotta do a three-way review. So, espresso from Jack O' Lantern. I've got it in the peach stand mug. That's right, to my people in Fort Mill in TK, South Carolina. Hopefully everything's going okay with you. Um, all right, here we go. Tastes like a boss. I wouldn't do that. It's very sour. The, the, the spice aspect, that, that spice that hits you, hits you really like a razor's edge on this. And it's, it's sour, not good. I don't like the way it makes my tongue feel. So that, that is a thumbs down on that. All right, so now the Pumpkin King. I don't know if I like either one of them really, but yeah. Here's what I do. This is what I would say. This one here has sour notes that I do not like. And more importantly, I can't really detect the flavor of, of the pumpkin or the spice enough to justify doing it. Here, on the other hand, there are also sour notes, which I do not like. But you can taste it, meaning you can taste the caramel, you can taste the pumpkin, you can taste the, 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 the pecan. Um, it's, it's, if you're gonna do one on espresso, do the pumpkin king. Don't even waste your time on the Jack o' Lantern. And even here, I'm not sure if I do it, but it might be interesting if you guys Again, have a little party going on. Hey, come here, Kylo. Oh, he wants to come back. See, he got bored. He's getting bored with the review. Uh, so don't do either, but Pumpkin King is better for the espresso if you're going to do it for like an after-dinner thing. But then you're probably not going to do it. I really do think that both of these uh, brews are fine when it comes to drip. Uh, I do think this has a more rounded-out flavor. Uh, and cold brew. The, these, as far as I'm concerned, if you're going to do drip, if you're going to do drip, go with the Pumpkin King. I'll just say it. Go with the Pumpkin King. But these really, really, as far as I'm concerned, are best served in cold brew. They just are. So, got your sharper edged, kind of rough, but in a good way. Jack and a lantern feels like the full octane bam and then you have your soothing comfortable but still really good pumpkin king so this year's winner 
and I'm just gonna base it on the cold brew. I mean, I guess on the espresso too. This year's winner for the king of the pumpkin flavors from Bones. Oh God, it's the pumpkin king. I give it to the pumpkin king. Uh, unless you're having one of those days where you just want to feel like a badass, and you still go with a jack-o'-lantern, and that's what I'm going to do. So keep tasting like a boss. And guys, hit subscribe, hit like. Thank you so much for following. You guys are awesome. And to all the people at the uh, the Bones uh, 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 fan clubs and groups on Facebook and stuff like that, you guys are really cool. Thank you. If you guys have any more suggestions, please send them my way. And if you are watching these videos and you don't know anything about it and you're on Facebook, look them up. They're great little groups of people. It doesn't get political. It doesn't get anything. It's just about coffee and how we all enjoy coffee and life and everything else. So keep tasting like a boss and have a great October. More reviews to come. I'm going to try to keep them all fall themed. Uh, and if everybody wants the hurricanes, we fared very well. And uh, I know that the hurricane kind of hit near Cape Coral. Uh, because it was near Fort Myers, uh, which is where Bones is. So I don't know how the company's doing it. Hopefully they are. But I'm, my heart goes out to the people out there as well. There's a lot of people right now who can't even, you know, they can't appreciate these videos. They can't shoot these videos. And all they're doing is looking for shelter. So count our blessings. Love you guys very much. And uh, keep tasting like a boss.